We know gardens. We know planting. At Plants Plus, we know all you need to know about gardening. your local gardening TV show and on tonight's episode we've got a great lineup. I visit two open gardens, Jill has a look at some roses as well as a veggie patch and Chris answers some questions on some natives. But first let's visit a lovely formal garden in Brussels. Hi and welcome to Bloomy in Brisbane. Today I'm in Brussels at a beautiful garden and let's welcome Gay Anderson. Hi Nicole. Hi, welcome. Welcome to Shadow. <laughs> so tell me about your garden. How long have you had it for? 13 years, Nicole. We built in the year 2000 and so the garden was started 13 years ago. So is there a place that has inspired you? Definitely, Nicole. We were inspired by Versailles. I mean, this is our miniature version of Versailles, very miniature, but we loved the formality of a French garden, the hedges, the roses, so that was our inspiration. The pavilion we're sitting under now, that was an inspiration from a, when we went to lunch in um, the south of France many years ago, and we just fell in love with that um, structure and with the wisteria growing eventually, in a few years' time, hopefully, it will be just a mass of bloom in this pavilion. So your gardens featured as part of this year's Australian Open Gardens. Has it been featured before? No, we're a newcomer to Open Gardens Australia. Um, we feel this year the garden is ready, but previously to that we had never thought it was up to being in Open Gardens Australia. We're very honoured to have been chosen to go into the Open Garden scheme. So, um, do you have any edible plants here? I've got a lovely vegetable garden. I also grow nasturtiums for my salads and lots of herbs. I like to cook, so I do have a, a rather a substantial herb garden and tomatoes and lettuce and carrots and just the normal suburban city garden. I see you've got a lot of grandkids uh, like running around the garden. What's their favourite activity to do in the garden or how do they enjoy your garden? Nicole, they love to play in the garden and we set tents up of a night and we play dinosaur hunts and we go up the magical paths and um, they, they just in, thoroughly enjoy playing in the garden. I think, and they put the dunas out <laughs> to sleep under the stars. So, um, no, the grandchildren do enjoy the whole garden. It gives us great pleasure to see them enjoying it as much as what we do. So it is a, a garden that you do regularly enjoy? Constantly, constantly. We, we still work full time, both my husband and I, and so we don't have a lot of time to enjoy the garden. The enjoyment is working in it. Once you have a walk around, you'll see that you don't get to sit and enjoy, um, the, enjoy, but we enjoy working in the garden. How often do you spend a week gardening? Nicole, that's a big question. I don't spend as much time as I should. As I said, <laughs> I work six days a week. Uh, my husband does too. But look, we do have help. I'm not denying, we do have people come in and help, like doing our hedges and mowing but my husband does spend a lot of time in the garden and I'd hate to think how many hours, but he is in it constantly. And more so since because of the open garden, he has been in it more hours, I think, than he'd wish to, to tell you about. So what's your favourite plant in your garden or a particular area that you just love or is it so hard to choose? No, it isn't. This is my favourite part. That's why we're doing the interview here. <laughs> um, I love this part of the garden because this is the part, when you walk around, you'll see how hilly our land is. And it's very hard to, to garden on the side of hills and you're always frightened of slipping over. Whereas around here, it's all flat. So I do thoroughly enjoy gardening. And all this part out here is my work because 
so accessible. I can come out here at nine o'clock of a night and put the lights on and weed and prune and fertilise, which I do. Is there so, any secret you've got to keeping everything so healthy? Or any tips or tricks that you've learnt along the way? We're still learning. We're just newcomers at this open garden, Nicole. I mean, 13 years ago, we didn't know a petunia from a weed. Um, and I did plant 300 petunias in the garden ready for the open garden. So, um, no, there's no special tricks, just heaps of water. That's the only thing, heaps of water. And we do fertilise now, something we didn't do before. We're great lovers of sea salt, uh, yep. fertiliser. And uh, I'm not promoting sea salt, no. but... Um, <laughs> Uh, and boost, you know, I mean, we use a variety of things, but mainly because we had the open garden coming, but uh, it's a big garden to fertiliser, to fertilise constantly, and um, no, there's no, just water. I think that's rain, rain is the best thing. We can water all the time, but one shower of rain, you can notice a huge difference in the garden. Are there any future plans you have for your beautiful garden? Nicole, I think we're finished. <laughs> no, you're never finished. Look, we've learnt a lot in the last 12 months since preparing for this. Um, lots of things I'll do differently next time. Um, I'll put in a lot more perennials than annuals. And as you can see around, there's lots of spaces that still need to grow. And it's just an ever, you know, ever changing garden and we'll be forever changing it now. Now that we've become very passionate about this gardening, um, I think it's, it's just a start, really. Even though I say we're finished, we're not. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you so much for allowing us to come out and visit your beautiful garden. It's been very special to all of us. Thank you. We were very honoured that you asked to come and have a look. It makes us feel proud to think that it's worthy of you coming to look at it. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Coming up next, how to care for your roses. We know gardens. We know planting. At Plants Plus, we know all you need to know about gardening. <laughs> 